The new NVIDIA RTX 5070 Ti will be out very soon. So if you are looking for the best PC build possible around this new NVIDIA graphics card, then you came to the right place. Because today I show you the top three best gaming PC builds around the RTX 5070 Ti. By the way, all budgets included. I'll go through the best gaming PC, the best price to performance one, and also the best all around PC for gaming, content creation, productivity work, and everything in between. I I believe that building one of these PCs right now it's an amazing decision because when the RTX 5070 Ti comes out you just need to plug and play. So you can find the links to these exact PC builds with the latest prices and availability down below in the video description. My name is Valentino, that being said let's start. So the first system is the best value gaming PC around the RTX 5070 Ti and this is the gaming PC that I will recommend for most people. So it's not only the best value for gaming but also for for more tasks. The reason why is because here you get a Ryzen 7 9700X which is not the most expensive CPU out there in the market but it's going to be a perfect pair with the RTX 5070 Ti for more than just gaming. Now in terms of gaming you will not be bottlenecking the 5070 Ti so you will be reaching this GPU full potential and I will talk about the exact level of gaming performance that you can expect in just a moment. For this CPU though you get an aftermarket CPU cooler with RGB that's going to be amazing for those CPU temps and then you get a very premium quality motherboard which is going to be key if you want to upgrade down the line. Let's say you want to go from a Ryzen 7 processor to a Ryzen 9 in the future you will not have to upgrade the motherboard which makes it a great choice if you want an upgradable system. Then you get 32 gigs of DDR5 memory, 6000 megahertz speeds, very fast memory and having 32 gigs is going to be really good for streaming and gaming at the same time and also for content creation and other tasks. Here you get a 2TB Gen 4 SSD so you get plenty of storage if you want to install a bunch of games or a bunch of programs or if you want to transfer files for content creation. Then you get a big case in the Lian Li Linecool 207. I absolutely love this case in terms of price or performance. It comes with two RGB pre-installed fans, plenty of airflow and the price is very decent. And last but not least you get a 750 watt power supply which is going to be enough for this RTX 5070 Ti and Ryzen 7 combo. Now in terms of the exact level of gaming performance well of course it's all speculations right now because the 5070 ti is not out yet and of course we are not going to take into consideration the numbers from nvidia when comparing two graphics cards but when taking into consideration the lss4 which is the new technology that nvidia is going to have now that technology might be amazing but it doesn't represent the native level of gaming performance of the 5070 ti now it seems like the 5070 ti is going to be around 36 percent faster than the 40 70 Ti which means that it will be slightly faster than the RTX 4080 Super and RX 7900 XTX which means that at 4k resolution the FPS average will be around 99 FPS which is insane considering we are talking about 4k high to ultra settings in high demanding titles. Now if the 5070 Ti ends up being slightly slower it's going to be very similar in terms of performance compared to the 4080 and 4080 Super so still 90 plus FPS on average at 4k which is a very high number so if you're looking for a gaming pc to play at 4k the best value pc here is going to be amazing and also for 1440p of course i mean the 4080 super was able to average over 140 fps at 1440p high to ultra settings in high demanding games so we can expect around the same number from the 5070 ti or even faster so in terms of gaming performance you will be getting top tier performance for both 1440p and 4k resolution gaming and the best value pc on this list is going for around 1600 USD by the time of filming which is a very fair price considering the level of gaming performance that you are getting at 4k. I mean if we get about the same level of gaming performance as the 4080 Super then you are buying a gaming PC that's going to cost you at least 3 to 400 USD cheaper than gaming PC builds with the RTX 4080 or 4080 Super. So I really like this value PC and this is the one that I recommend for most people. But that is the keyword I said for most people. If you want the highest FPS that you can achieve especially in high CPU demanding games like Fortnite competitive settings at 1080p or you want to play other games that require a ton of CPU like Cities Skylines or maybe you want to play Fly Simulator then the next system is going to be a better choice because you get the Ryzen 7 7800X3D instead of the Ryzen 7 9700X. Now for most games especially at 4k or 1440p high to ultra settings and I'm talking about high demanding GPU titles it's not going to make a huge difference but for those esports games that require 
more CPU or the other games that I just mentioned, the FPS is going to be quite different. And again, if you need every FPS that you can get, this Ryzen 7 7800X 3D is going to be a better option. Now, keep in mind that the fastest CPU in the market right now is the Ryzen 7 9800X 3D, not the 7800X 3D. But by the time of filming, the 9800X 3D is out of stock everywhere and it's selling for 600 USD, which I wouldn't recommend at that price point because even though it's faster than the 7800X 3D, it's not $150 faster. That being said, if you find the 9800X 3D in stock going for around 480 bucks, by all means, go with that one instead and I will leave it as an alternative down below in the video description with the latest prices and availability. So I do recommend you checking those links if you want to check out whether or not the 9800X 3D is in stock. Now, making this upgrade will make the price go up, of course, and the total price for this system will be around 1770 bucks. So quite more expensive than the best value system, but definitely worth it if you want to play high CPU demanding games, especially at 1080p competitive settings. And also, if you go with this system, feel free to go with a 540Hz 1080p monitor or a 480Hz 1440p one. And then if you want the best all around PC for the 5070 Ti, meaning that you want top tier performance for content creation, production work, and then also for gaming, then I recommend you getting the next one, which is the most expensive one on the list because it has the Ryzen 9 9900X. This is a 12 core processor that is going to be top tier for most content creation and productivity work applications. And in terms of gaming performance, it's going to be slightly faster than the Ryzen 7 9700X, not as fast as the 7800X 3D or 9800X 3D, but again, for most games, especially at 4K resolution or 1440p ultra settings, the difference is not going to be that much. Now, this PC is also better all around because you get a more premium quality motherboard with more features for content creators. Here you get a 360 all-in-one liquid cooler, which is going to be insane and really good to cool down a Ryzen 9 processor. And then you get a different case with more print style fans, really beautiful looking case and actually quite good in terms of pricing as well. And last but not least, you get a higher wattage power supply. This time is an 850 watt power supply instead of a 750 watt one. And the total price for this system will be around 1900 USD, which again, makes it the most expensive one on the list. But in my opinion, it's going to be the best one all around if you want to spend some money and you want to get the best performance for both content creation and gaming at the same time. And as a bonus PC, I have one more, which is the cheapest one on the list. Now, I wouldn't recommend it for most people, but if you really want to go under 1500 USD and get the 50, then for the CPU, I would go with a Ryzen 5 7600 with a different CPU cooler, motherboard, and case. Don't worry, you will have that bonus PC down in the video description in case you want to get the 5070 Ti inside of a system that's going for around 1430 bucks, which is definitely the cheapest one that you can get for the 5070 Ti. Now, I do recommend you buying this system mainly if you play games that require more of your GPU, so you're going to be GPU limited. That way, the Ryzen 5 is not going to be a bottleneck, but if you will be playing high CPU demanding games, then you will be losing some performance compared to the other systems I've mentioned today. But let's say you want to play games like Cyberpunk 2077, high to ultra settings at 4K, or even 1440p, then this Ryzen 5 7600 is going to be a good option actually, especially if you want to go for the cheapest gaming PC that you can get with the 5070 Ti. But again, for most people, I recommend the best value PC that I mentioned today. And if you have even more money to spend than 2000 USD, I recommend you watching my video on the best PC builds for every budget and every resolution. You can find it in the middle of the screen. And if you want personal PC help and you want me to help you out the right Preville PC or PC build, that's going to be the top link in the description. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.